Okay, friends, welcome to I, the Somnium Files. Um, okay, so this is gonna be something, I guess, a little different than normal. Um, it's a visual novel, a detective visual novel. Um, I guess it's, I don't know how you would describe it, but it seems like it's a detective love story kind of thing. There's love in it. I means love, Susie. That's all you need to fucking know. It's a love story. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. Ah, ah, ah. Let's get going. Boom. Playing with fucking yeah, English. <laughs> Starting a game with selected language, English, English, language cannot be, really? Oh, fucking, we gotta go with English then. I don't have a fucking choice. I'm surprised you can't change the, the, the language during the game. Stories, work of fiction, names, characters, places, the products, blah, blah, blah. Look at my little cursor thing. It's a weird cursor. Why is like the electric like the electricity the th like the lightning going like sideways? Why is it happening? It looks like I'm looking down, right? Because is that what like lightning looks like when you're in the clouds? It looks like it's like literally a, like a uh, a cloud and lightning striking across the cloud. Yeah, it totally is. Cause that's the ground. That's okay. I don't get it. I went on a merry-go-round like uh, like three or four years ago for my friend's uh, birthday, and it was kind of weird. Oh, we weren't tied up though. That didn't happen. But it was a little weird because like it was for like my friend's like what? However, I don't know, like late twenties birthday. Ooh. Her eyes are bloody. Oh god, she is uh, not doing good. They stab her eye. Okay. Oh, there's the eye, and I. So. We were doing mini golf in like this random ass town in Massachusetts, and then there was like a merry-go-round. So they were like, "Let's do the merry-go-round." I'm just like, "Oh god, this is fucking cringy." Then we all go on it, and we're just like, like you know, making fun of it. They're making fun of it. They won Friday. Sai. Sai. Bloom Park Friday, 10:54 p.m. Okay, well anyways, um, they start going on the merry-go-round, and then I noticed that, like, no one else was on it, it wasn't like there's was a bunch of little kids, and then I noticed that while we were on, and this is a big, like, bigger than this merry-go-round, then I notice there is, um, a mom with, uh, her mentally handicapped child on the merry-go-round as well. And I felt a little weird about that, you know? Like maybe maybe they liked the fact that like there's a like other people, so it didn't feel like the the child was so like alone on a like that's the saddest thing, to be alone on a merry-go-round. Like I feel like there needs to be like, you know, people talking and stuff like that. But I was just like, I don't know. I wasn't sure whether or not it was better to be there or not to be there. To be or not to be. That is the question. Boom, let's go. Oh, was that a, a body as well? No, maybe I just missed some. Dog, oh, these look like fucking, okay. what? Hello? Okay. Investigate, during us again, the main character, Date, it's Date, not Date, even though it maybe has to be like, you know, it's, Date, as in like the English, oh, date, because it's blessed with love. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. 
considering that the, the game's called I, and it has an I, but I know it has something to do with like love, so like, it's like double entendre. Japanese are really weird with puns, so I wouldn't be surprised if Date is also an English pun as well. Next scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Dante's position is fixed, but you can view, move the cursor in your view. Try looking around and moving your cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. Inspector. When you look at a person, you'll be presented with choices in look. You use a choice to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you're speaking to. Okay. Can we talk to the- Ooh, this policeman. Fence! Let me talk to Fence. Let me talk to Boss. Boss got a booty though. Move site. Oh, well, why would I do anything else besides investigate? Okay. So, what am I doing here? Are you serious? You're Special Agent Kaname Date. I am. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I, I called do, you here to I inspect guess. the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Who found the body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Okay. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the mm. details later. Okay. Interesting discussing a topic with someone. They might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain a important information clue. Well, I'll recap and increase conversations. Okay. Any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. Oh. From the case six years ago. What case? case six years ago? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago? Huh. Her name's Nadami you Shoko. Victim? You knew her, right? I, I guess? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. I... Okay. Spectre. What's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. <laughs> it's Kagami, sir. Oh, Kagami. Oh, it doesn't change his name. I'm sorry. Anything to go on? Not yet, sir. But I am a great detective. Ben set up around the merry-go-round. Probably to prevent nosy kids from getting caught in the machinery. It's a horse in the merry-go-round. Let's look at the corpse. Body on one of those horses. I should get a better look. Took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? Really? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. Oh, well, get on that. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. Aiba. That's Iba. <laughs> I guess, okay. Her official designation is Iba. Oh god. Our, we're really going into this. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An eye. An AI for an eye. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna be doing this a lot. Yeah, we're gonna use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Okay, let's zoom. Computer, enhance! <laughs> Uh, you can now use the zoom to enlarge the select zoom and examine the corpse. You can also view the controls. Okay. We had a what? Enhance! Oh shit. Menu flowchart. Okay. Oh, manual save. That's good. I'm glad that I can manual save in this game. Um, time chart. Sorry, jump to another part of the store using the flowchart. I don't... Actually, can I look more at the... Bio allows you to read information about the people you've spoken to in her Update of the story advances. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, Commander of the Ibis. Likes wine, gore dolls, and anything black. Dislikes happy families, ex-boyfriends, <laughs> director, decluttering and organizing. What the fuck is your problem? You're fucking crazy. You're 42 year old and you hate ex-boyfriends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who, who did the writing for this? This is fucking wild. Uh, okay. Boss's Dante's direct superior in a long time friend. She appears to be an easygoing alchemist with a carefree attitude, but it's cunning as a fox woman with a quick wit. In fact, oh, I have a age five. Likes numbers. Dirty jokes. Oh, oh God. Okay. okay, at least you dislike it. Fluoroscopy. Voice imitation. Uh, Jesus. Okay, you assist. Okay, I'm 30 years old. Close enough. I'm actually older than Dante. That's cool, I guess. That makes me feel old, but he looks good for 30. Maybe I look good for... Do I look good for 30? I hope that's a yes. Classic cars, curry, bonito, pelv... Pelvis. Pel Pelvises. Okay. Okay. What's Benito? Like, I I'm the like Bonito flakes. Oh, like the fish. Okay, yeah, Bonito. And then Reka. What's Reka? Is that a person? Probably a fucking person. Okay, just like soft boiled eggs. What the fuck is wrong with this person? Punk kids and ghouls. <laughs> yeah, if, if my if I had one, it would be like likes um likes curry, uh, pizza, and um, Dark Souls. Dislikes um, kites and ghouls. Collects vintage magazines, okay. Reaction speed time increases 3.6 times under certain conditions. The science. Okay, whatever. As a science. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're doing it again with sci psychic and science, okay. Dati uses the sign. The, the sink. Oh my god, the sink. As a sciencer. Dante uses a Pasink machine to dive into the minds of suspects and persons of interest. He lost his eye, his eye six years ago, but replaced it with a prosthetic eye, which houses an advanced artificial intelligence known as an AI ball. He also lost all of his memory this past six years. Six years. Like the, like, the ki like the killing six years ago. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't tell me it's that. Please don't tell me it's going to be something. I swear to god. I swear to god if it's that. I'm gonna fucking freak out. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking freak out. Okay. So I get her left eye. eye socket is vacant. So we took the eye. Oh the my god. Everything eye about eye. Removed. Left eye. Just like my left eye. The most eye. likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. I uh, don't Impossible. think so. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive? Gruesome. Correct. Pupil dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. Thanks, Iba. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. Jesus. Several puncture wounds, but no cuts or tears. That means... The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. Like an ice pick. I was thinking like a knife. But yeah, like an ice pick is also an option. What the fuck has the an ice pick? Sound. 
Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Okay. Inside the column? The noise came from Dati, inside. Use me to see through the column. Utilize okay. the x-ray mode. I'm looking. Hello? <gasps> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! I pushed him aside and ran up on the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle in the column. I grabbed it, grabbed it hard, and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it! Come on. Hey, whoever's in there, oh, stay whoa. back. Just didn't even fucking move. Uh, Suki. Was that a screwdriver? Please don't tell me that's an ice pick and he just fucking called it like that. Does like Japan use like ice picks a lot? Like is that like a common thing in Japan? So who's this bitch? Who's this broad? Entering her dream, I guess. Yeah, we are. We're totally entering her dream. What is this place? This is your dream. Oh, this is my dream. I'm me. Correct. You are Date. You are. Hell yeah! My like skeleton. Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal look at her, like, fucking, I would like look, look at her hair. <laughs> taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? What is going on with you the hair? Oh. Me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. What is going on with her hair? You will have forgotten this hair. by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I don't think it's supposed to do that. I'm trying to sort out my situation. But my brain isn't cooperating. It wants to be because I'm sleeping right now. So things that I should know. I can't remember. My head is all fuzzy. Not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No. No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan, activate! What's going on? Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, 
Remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. That's creepy. Well, I suppose that is true, but... All right, let's do this. Wake Dante up. Dante's dream world in the strange. Just the light to wake up Dante. Okay. Um, insomnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Locking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. Back to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left hand corner. First move, I but closer to the door and investigate. Oh shit, I can move. A door locked with a padlock. When investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Iba instructions. For now, have Iba investigate the door. Okay, investigate. It appears all I have to do is open this door. It's locked! Oh, she can't even fucking hold it. Hmm. What was she like jacking off with, like the fucking that is to be expected. doorknob? Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Oh, look at that little Who was that? Paint. I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. What do you mean? I it don't was know. created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. So you're able to investigate objects that have a floating name. New object has appeared. Move I over to investigate. Where's um can I look Oh this okay. There we go. A winter iris. iris. What? An Do iris, oh my it? god. This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. We got a smell. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. <laughs> Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. This music is fucking weird. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. Why is he look, trying to look creepy uh, when he says that? Okay. <laughs> Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What the what fuck? What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. Check the progress on the left hand side of the screen. You're actually just now advanced to progress. Reach the end to clear the sound. Okay, so now we can hit the switch. The switch. The thorns are gone. Now I can activate the switch. Hello? Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Turned on the light. Okay. There's another mental lock in the Somnium. Uh, 
open the door. You can always check the tutorial, like, okay. So, wine. A glass of wine. Oh. Let, you gotta smell the wine. We're, we're big into smells. Yeah. Hmm. The nose is fresh yet rich. I detect smooth tannins and stone fruits. Bridge of Lunette? Why would you have something like this in your dream? Even a guy like Bonsai me enjoys wine. good drinks and better company. Spike tunes off original wine. Social engagements Spike. never seem to turn out well for you. Spike tunes off is a developer me? of this game. Have a sip. Leave it to me. Let's get drunk. Hey. Ah. <laughs> I feel kind of good. Why isn't AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Dante diss me all the time? <laughs> wah, wah. Oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Yeah, like this fucking skeleton man. Yeah, fucking hit on the skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Let's talk to the skeleton. The skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Iba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Uh. Hey, don't ignore me. Stupid. Bony man. The bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. Okay. A basket. Well, let's look at the standing lamp. A basket. No, oh, okay. I cannot see inside it. Uh, tack? What the fuck? Wear basket? Leave it to me. It is dark. The skeleton did the same anything. thing. I see a dumb AI and a skeleton. Interesting. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. What if we turn off the light? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream. In fairness, this is your memory, but this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. It's kind of dirty. Shut up. What? Oh, I got it. Kind of. A lamp. It looks like a. Hold on. What does it say? Turn on the light. So yeah, we got that. Open the door. What is go? What? What just happened? A Can we search the basket? A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra and what? a one dollar bill. Occult cool. stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. <gasps> it is a trendy <laughs> topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than a cult. A lamp. What if we lift it up? Must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. <laughs> You're just sleepy. Okay, let's try kicking. A lamp. It <laughs> you don't oh. have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's so it's my motto. To the skeleton. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? Oh, wait, hold on. 
It did increase. Let's go to the skeleton man. A skeleton. What if we hit him? Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Bop. Hi. Somnia came crumble. Oh, okay. Another place. Do I you guess. have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Oh, bye -bye. Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Boss sleep top. Hmm? A hidden item. Insomnia? There's always one somewhere. Hmm. No more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. A gun. Like, what? Is that meant to happen? That doesn't look like it was meant to happen. I think I have to, like, change, like, the graphic setting thing. What? They... Grab the gun. A gun came out of the skull? Investigate it. Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. It's I hear it's common key? in the Kyushu area. Like... In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerator. What? Who did you hear that from? A gun. Let's grab it. It won't go off? It should be fine. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with ventilate? this Ventilate? Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. A door locked with a padlock. Put the gun in the keyhole. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Oh, Try God. Just the tip. What I is this dialogue? What is- someone's too horny on their main account. Like, ima imagine- ima like, I want to see, like, the credits roll and the writers show up. Because I want to be like, yo, too horny. Well, well, well. Too fucking horny. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. Someone is too horny on main. I'll open it. Okay. Fucking open it already. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Is that Date? door with the gun shaped key <laughs> okay we did it let's wake up day two Saturday Saikai Saikai Police headquarters. 9.21 a.m. Okay. Wow, very disorganized, but I kind of love it. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. Hey. 
Happy birthday! I kind of love that, actually. Um, C7 picked up this place. You are, agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Okay. Have man. you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. That's Super He's Mario? A listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This is the moment I start to worry about boss's mental health. Do you think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. Um, volleyball, volleyball, okay. RC Overall car. length of 15.35 inches, width She's of 8.8. .8. Kind of cool, of actually. And a body She's weight a of very a hair over 830 grams. Eccentric. This I RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. What? A flag girl for RC car racing? I like pumpkin. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? Sorry, it was funnier in my head. Oh, happy birthday, Banner The birth fair was a while ago, though. Um, the status of the investigation. Who do you think I am, Date? Who do you think uh, I am? You're my boss? Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Abyss. Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. Boss. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. Suffering from memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. I've been having flashbacks recently, fragments of my past. What does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Huh. So, nothing to report then. Got it. About that case six years ago. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... <sighs> Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. Yeah, you can't say that. This has us. nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Bye. Uh, well, Mizuki. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No. no. She just lives with me. Mizuki, Mizuki Okia, Okiora, the girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12 year old. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood related. What does that even mean? Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Okay. About Renju Okiora. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renju is Shoko's ex husband and Mizuki's father. Not to mention an old friend of mine. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. 
the local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the, the situation to him. Had him verify, show his corpse, and naturally started asking him questions. Any leads? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand. Like, how did you know it was? We a were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. How about the ice pick? The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. Damn. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Is there any other information? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shogo Nadami. It's up on the database. Uh. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Aren't I biased? Shoko, 36 years old. Female. Residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okia Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki. The prime suspect at this And now place. Mizuki stays with me. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. Why don't I have a cell phone? I took Shoko's picture and took put it in my pocket. I mean, I have a fucking AI bot. Can't the AI bot do that shit? Hold on, the computer. The computer on the desk. It does a monitor build. Okay, never mind. Do we ever know who called it in? The person who reported the screaming? Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, not yet. Damn it. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. You should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. Why is his eye doing that shit? Okay. Why is his eye doing that? Is he like, I'd apologize at this one. I'm like, sorry, sorry. My eye just decided to be like a cute little mascot. Hello. Okay. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. About my, about I, about I, about, about AI, about I, about I, about I. I've been thinking a lot lately about myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I really me? Good question. Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rimbaud once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. What's the point? Oh, I don't want to. Oh, my eye. Hey, so... About my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. 
about AI. Hey, what does love mean to you? I... Where is this coming from? God. Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? Like a pun. That should that should have been I'm the right name of the name. Instead of Keep like sure. a dragon, that like a pun. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with Pewter. her. Pewter? Wasn't the like AI always your idea though? City gym? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. You must be like a big old fucking nerd, especially with the name Pewter. Okay, back inside. No. no. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> Why did you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? It's been five years since we first met. One day I called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. The official title is Why is he dressed like that? You may call her Ivan. Why is he why does he look like a superhero or a villain? Contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Can you and do engineers just dress like that in Japan? Birds from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Wadget. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Oh. Iba's been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hacking into other computers. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. Let's us talk without actually speaking. Hello. <laughs> Hello, me. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Oh, just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. What the fuck is that? Who are you? Who are you? My name is Konami Date. I work as a special agent for the investigation squad of this. What the YouTube. fuck is this bullshit? You're handsome. You are a handsome looking man. Oh, no, stop it. Are you okay, Date? Perhaps it's time for his medication. So who are you? Is that a serious question? We've been yes. partners for five years. You know who I am. You're kind of cute. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? That's the question. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. Why did you come out? Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? Who reported the, the crime? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage okay. of any that's security place, cameras operating it. nearby. So you found a way into that database? Right there? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. Right the time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. Oh. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. Oh. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Cool. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Gamer boy? Ota, 24 years old. Male. <laughs> Holy I have marked shit. his address on the map. He had, that is all. He, oh my god. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Let's go, Iba. When you're able to map up here on the bottom of the screen. You can always check the tour by going. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go. Fucking. Let's 
fucking go. That's mosey. Sorry, we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens no! I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. What does it say? Hip... hip... the kitchen and you're Ota's I like your flower knife mother. and your name ma'am Mayumi Matsushita Miss Matsushita before we talk could I make a request mm -hmm. could you put that knife down please <laughs> Jesus Christ oh goodness sorry sorry okay thank you Mayumi put the knife down on the table beside her uh where's your husband I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is not okay. me. Can we look at the knife? There's a knife on the table. Something's great on the handle. No. Okay, I can't. Ooh. Mom. Oh, okay, never mind. Um. Is Ota here? That boy. He's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Ota wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. What? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Hold on. Okay, let me just... I can see the kitchen area, but it's the couch. Okay, let me... Menu? Yeah. Let's, um, let's, let's ask more questions next time.